So everybody's good? Awesome. The militarism movement is back and growing. The colleges are cracking down. Ending the crackdown is key to the survival of the movement. SWU5. Administrators are cracking down to an accuracy stand up against military recruiters, peers, just for a police repression, the list of insulting military recruits, so I guess we find recruits that come here. Well, those will be even more difficult to answer more movement among students. Promises to write barriers to fill the ranks. The movement is not from the minority, the majority of OBR. Against all administrations, but I don't want to look to controlling movement, facing pressure from the army, telling administrations that they need to guarantee success in the midst of how quickly we'll see with protesters. The student anti war movement is growing in an attempt to stifle anti war movement. The militarized state has cracked down on resistance to militarism. Free speech zones criminalize and marginalize political protests into media spectacles, incapable of effectuating change. Policing tactics. To reinforce the violent logic of preemption that underlies all global violence. Elmer 8. After the protests against the WTO agencies begin to rethink the responses of resistance groups, so the political responses to the white political strategy that contains dissent against protesters' agencies by one, overwhelming numbers of officers, two, preemptive threats, and three, surveillance. Such strategies marginalize dissent. Attainments are used to preemptively remove protesters from the separation of protesters. Political organizations has become a cause of protest, lose their publicity, becoming marginalized spectral distance from government protests, become neutered, substitutional for chaotic confrontations, which are more not to be constrained from protests, and by controlling the debate without acknowledging that the protesters are extreme outside of this political stage in colleges are the missing link in expanding the counter movement to militarism. Campus anti war activism has failed to materialize, but it is necessary to support broader, broader global movements and turn the tide against the culture of US global socialism, Harding and Kirchner 11. Counter recruitment struggle with recruiting allies and saying that CR is named countering the US culture promotes violence, anti militarism with the way to keep the movement viable for long term counter recruitment, resist the culture of militarism survival of council tasks, and something that will turn out to be measured by small struggles. The attempt to the tide is now with the Pentagon spending at record levels. Afghanistan is in its 10th year and operations expanding. Yemen and Pakistan, the stakes could not be higher. A college more than incubators of military revenue scholars must examine militarism. Nearly 150 groups engaged in demilitarization. International efforts underscore the American military uniquely dependent upon the school military and forces from NATO being a, being a call on to support U.S. foreign policy also suggests an opportunity to, uh, to, to collaborate with European movements. Regional networks will achieve a greater role. We know Micronesian counter recruiters that grew out of the conference in Guam promoting dialogue on the potential of the network in other countries. Such efforts bolster global defenses against militarism at the time of global war and it's try or die for the global resistance. A brutal eruption of warfare and factions and violence will soon engulf the globe. The conditions are right for an equally powerful opposition movement to prevent global catastrophe be socialist equality party 16. The drive to establish new world is creating global disorder, uh, fascist, uh, fascist economy, wars, fascist, and actually, I believe, kills fascist, and can't see in class, there's preparing direct military competition with the rival army chief, declared that war to all the terrorist chief, the Atlantic Council are in preparation to fight major deadly wars between Russia, China, and Taiwan, and nothing new for their change to get high world has become a tinderbox. The U.S. is at the forefront of the disruption of militarism when you world wars and battles with the intervention of the working class among the uh, youth, their existence, desire for peace, ability, financial, or movement, requires the understanding of the, uh, the, the crisis, the burden of militarism will be borne by the working class, the government increased spending for the first time, the Conditions for a struggle or emergency state crisis that drove austerity and military force can significant for interruption of struggle. This global opposition to imperialism for the new anti war movement was international mobilizing in a global struggle against imperialism. The permanent war was man's with permanent revolution. And independently, militarism requires a sense of the cause of the to be as part and parcel of the state's dissemination of militarization by taking society at large broadness. 14. Linkages between public education, military, and criminalization of dissent are demonstrated with the university about military interests, the university supports military support structure, along with the political rhetoric that complies specific behaviors on the courts against the structure of military protection necessary to be able to dissent this proposition and be costly and inflicting violence on those who accept the strategy of the military rest on de incentivizing public protests to assume that dissenters will choose rationally uh, to to cease struggling with the logic of the local proposition class that dissent continue. And I thus I advocate that public colleges and universities ought not to restrict any constitutionally protected free speech contention to assault the one student protest on campus specifically allows for the initiation of dissent questions. Of the military industrial conflict within the departments of the university that fuel the war. Vietnam War proves to the Adel 99. Protests against American involvement in Vietnam was led by two to protests were directed against universities who have seen the work of the in the war against Vietnam students. Targeted military recruitment uh, programs reached the platform that was used by troops in Vietnam. The question of authority placed scientists directly in the line of fire is impossible. The universities ignored these protests and that's not how the story unfolded. And anti war activism is alive and larger than ever. Social media technologies and movements, miscibility allow the movement to gain wider audiences and challenge US military too broadly. Now is the key time for the movement to flourish. Fox 6. Mobilization against war has been one of the most uh, visible forms of the like, demonstration of about hundreds of thousands of streets leading to protests and church going to satisfaction before the peace movement has waxed and waned. Uh, two of the are trying to the period before the end of the armed conflict after a constant cloud of peace movement that despite the political opportunity of some people's social movement organization and the white paper calling to adherence movements were passing when they're able to recruit new members using social networks, political opportunity structures that could stabilize mobilization by gaining legitimacy and work which can be better understood by employing missable movements and conceptualization as a number of advantages. Social movements are included on some visible mobilization going on in social structure processes, education, and social safety. Mobilization efforts 
rights are involved with the consumer coalitions that are opposed by the war on terrorism. Great grievances were moving to the battle of the this year that they had war with the Jews who are civil and white society mobilizing information that notices they are now for research for rapid mobilization of these movements and communities are shifting actions from other movements. The threat of conflict created by a military issue. A bell weather issue represents the actions used in order to unify groups with similar con uh, concerns that they need to war mobilization that precede the one year later mobilization registers similar numbers from the Vietnam War. So contention is raining. One. Militarism through war structures all inequalities, not the other way around. War in 12. No conditioning can now kill society against militarism, war, trauma, crack, capitalism, imperialism, gender, native oppression, are they the single cause of wars? You will sustain this other injustice. I want to escape from the shadow war, become more resistant to war, to other conflict, economic justice, war, health, environmental structure, war, and I'm sorry, I'm just reading peace. It's a way to solve problems. Those who want to make a world better place should make a multi wars and priority. If you want justice, we're peace. A debate about arcane legal details, which are the short terms, grab low cost populations, articles, and all 10. Legal work is critical of the movements for social justice. We must recognize limitations of the legal system where they're advantage to the oppressed by using our knowledge and attribution of this branch of the community to take leadership, take on supreme significance, and uh, knowledge to take on supreme significance, to court politics, rights, and to the lawyers, the opportunity to expose the working decisions so that they can bring our voice back to communities and take leadership. Yep. Yeah. All right, everything. Yep. Yeah. Uh, the Oregon evidence indicates that militarism controls all other kinds of inequalities. Why sure. is that? Right, so the Oregon Oregon evidence indicates that in times of war, we sort of have to really trade out between the ways in which we divert resources to deal with certain sort of conflicts, right? Okay. Uh, yeah. The line from the card uh, that I'd like to isolate says, yeah. uh, those of us who want to make the world a better place should make abolishing war our priority. Yeah. How does the app abolish war? Uh, I don't necessarily think that the app is a stance on abolishing war. I think it's a consistent Wait, it with the what is required. Right, but I, I think that a way to abolish war is to sort of demilitarize the domestic space, which is something that the person does. Uh, right, what is militarism? Militarism is the promulgation of militaristic values within the domestic space. Where does it come from? Uh, I don't know. I guess our unique evidence indicates that it comes from the United States foreign apparatus. There's okay. no root causal claim made. In the United States. Oh, well, the Oregon evidence seems to indicate that it is quite literally like physical wars that cause the issues of militarism. Uh, well, I mean, not particularly, right? It says that war has fueled and sustained conflicts. Now, it's, it doesn't make a claim about like why militarism exists in the first place, right? I think that the only claim that the Oregon evidence could like substantially make is just the way that things like war sort of exacerbate our ability to deal with other sorts of conflicts. Okay, is, uh, I don't know the card comes What exact Crackdowns have there been on anti war movements? Um, I think our elder evidence uh, offers a pretty fantastic question. Uh, I think it uh, talks about. I just asked the question. I wanted an answer. Yes. Yeah. I mean, are the specific anti war movements. Okay, so one is the CR, which is the counter recruitment method. Uh, literally, it's a movement that's focused on incentivizing people from enrolling in the army. Uh, the SW evidence is a pretty fantastic job of explaining why uh, the army crackdowns. Your evidence is like it's growing in the slow. Yeah, so the elder evidence it's it, it gives the example of like WTO protests, right? So back in like sometime in the nineties, there was these WTO protests, and what essentially the police apparatus did is that they cordoned off the streets that uh, led to those meetings, and they essentially isolated these protests in a space that's far away from where the meetings. What about be. that is a restriction of their First Amendment? Um, I would argue that it's consistent with the principle. It's consistent with the logic of confining dissent to certain spaces. Uh, right, that's so, fair. But my question is, what is a, a like? What about blocking off streets is inconsistent with First Amendment rights? Is inconsistent with the First Amendment rights? I would argue that it hampers your ability. Well, I don't know if the one makes a claim to First Amendment rights, but I would argue that it hampers the ability not to restrict our... any protected speech. Whose speech is being restricted because they're being like blocked off? I mean, under the advocacy of the one see, I would feel that anyone who's like, a university student, right? With the university structure. There's I'm asking you what rules or regulations have people been enforced that says you cannot say these things? Oh, uh, I mean, like free speech zones are a pretty fantastic example, right? Uh, it's literally like that's a pretty good example of how on universities Wait. people are confined their ability to dissent to certain specific areas. Why does that, why is dissent not effective in those certain specific areas? Well, it's because the way in which, so think about it this way, right? If you give the university the ability to sort of squash and only let people protest in certain areas, it's much more manageable, right? And that's where the thesis of the money comes from.
Everyone good? Yes, no. Yes, no. Okay. <clears throat> Counter plan talks public universities and colleges to create either or should either create uh, policies or reform about the current policies of sexual harassment or so to so I said strict harassment guidelines, but for any classroom behavior, teachers and speech, uh, they create hostile learning environment. They should also implement the guidelines for any student student content that uh, creates a hostile learning environment to uh, the, 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 the sexual nature of uh, speech. These regulations will be enforced consistent with uh, uh, the Title IX and uh, uh, seven of uh, the uh, Civil Rights Act down or twelve. Harassment is one of the social education systems being represented. Uh, we're going to be able 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 to which we're brought to uh, when they shift the boundaries, free speech limits are and then regularly racist in response to a very result of allegations of harassment of adversity of the blood blood risk of the doctors who harassment are ultimately unresolvable on the basis of all the professors who are alone dissent. Harassment cases persist because the black community is a requirement to the members of accountability's key saw 822. Your person campuses are vulnerable to sexual harassment very seriously. Most companies are not reporting that it was not considered serious enough. There's nothing that will be done about it. Even if the sexual assault does not take place, there's nothing that's harassment. Also, here's this one as a sex harassment. Under the public regulation, we do harassment separately. Successful lawsuits force full accountability to fight it. Harassment is still above 15. A title line is asked to provide a partner to address the tool. A result of these problems should not be able to do a budget system to accept your sole title. Thank you. 
sometimes it involves this sort of structure of warfare. Oh, the other side explicitly says we divert resources and things, which means uh, getting rid of the military explicitly solves all of your case. The overview of the case is that movements are happening now, which means you need to win a very high threshold to survive. Uh, we should allow the app. The only reason the app said they have been success uh, uh, well, I mean, how well the app is right now being sectioned off. That is not uh, any sort of a block on free speech. The app will not be able to uh, stop that because the only uh, the stop people from soft speech or search speak out uh, needs to win a very high bar to uh, the things that like news spill over campus means that uh, the protests that happen now, even if they're only specific speech, don't are sufficient to solve because people uh, hear about that. You read evidence about how they're expanding and growing and uh, doing great things. That uh, uh, no one is stifling their speech, only putting them in certain zones. There's uh, uh, no reason why this individual don't get speak across and says, uh, uh, is your management. What kind of management is happening? And you uh, uh, read explicit evidence that they're expanding these status quo memes uh, uh, that is nonsense. Next, the Apple generates dominant viewpoints uh, and changes no one's minds. In 84, the uh, uh, market city is much yourself in the press because the impression of Dr. Cruz, uh, nothing arrested, nothing like this, provides a model of Dr. Cruz, and this is something that's so dominant. So, uh, I'm going to appreciate your press by season, just by the easy to just enter a recent drop of pressure to the national media. But it's been broken, the market's failure is close to the there. You know what's up, you know what's up, you and you know, the control of the reason why the market comes in legitimates the government and, and destroys radical action. That uh, the Amber 84, the acceptance of the radical short of the market, by just a legitimate government, and that this is what you'll do. He's just going to cross both the channels with the government at all. Uh, other groups, because many nations, future doctor, nation, social justice, people's government, but the further is both perceptions, so long as a system has been established, which is not dominated by the perspective of the ransom of the system, or a regime of legitimacy, and uh, the marketplace of freedom. The idea that we can speak out uh, is already socialized against dissent, which means no one cares about your protest anyway. Stanley, or uh, Amber uh, 84, the uh, public that's supposed to be sending out a message package, you know, it's not the thing that's about, but it's just sending out uh, unconventional message about uh, 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 communication while uh, public authority freedom around the message package, uh, 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 uh
think that's pretty clear as to why the abolishing of war, of the ability to go to war, I understand it, effects, right? You but, can be like, oh, our Corbyn card is wrong, we actually didn't read it, or like something like that. But in reality, uh, it pretty explicitly says that the reason these things happen is because of like a top-down question. It's a top-down question. Okay, my question is that I don't necessarily see any piece of evidence the one I see that seems to indicate that. So why exactly? So why I literally just read you a line from yours. We talk All right, never mind then. Okay, let's go to the first counter plan. Uh, it says public university and colleges should create policy from the current pol policies on sexual harassment. What exactly is Title IX? Uh, Title IX is a part of the Civil Rights Act that says uh, sexual harassment in uh, sort of educational settings uh, should be like a lot of. Okay, so what sort of why exactly is that mutually exclusive with the advocacy of the affirmative? You say make all speech cool. Okay. You say no. Wait, all speech cool. What about, is it like not constitutionally protected? Uh, our argument in the counterplan, the second piece of evidence that is read, okay. is that there is massive amounts of sort of uh, like controversy. And right now, because of the way in which is uh, sort of like precedent has shifted, it is currently not protected, or it is okay. protected under the uh, first amendment. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, so I have myself for two minutes left. Uh, so the order is going to go case with an overview on top. It's going to go to the first counter plan, which is that, and then the second counter plan. So basically, the opposite of the order that goes up. It's already good. Try out after the firm of the massive outburst of great power for that terminates a nuclear conflict is coming within the next few years with the U.S. to shore because it's hegemon status. That's the SW evidence. A massive counter movement is now underway. It's bigger than the Vietnam protests. That's the boss of the student movement is the vital missing the students on the most active new social media to expand the movement to the point where it can create critical mass around the globe to stop militarism and strikes at the heart and incursion around the universe. Start cracking down to destroy the counter movement, to destroy the global resistance. That's the Elmer evidence. The plan protects the student movement, allowing to stop this with the military race station. Now it's going to line line group. Their first three arguments is literally. 
literally answered by every single piece. We need to start reading the YCD. All the reference is fantastic on this question. It literally takes us back to the point where the state grows legal restrictions to squash to spend around campus. Now, the words in this is inherently true because of the point in which you confine, you know, the point in which you sort of confine these spaces and to certain areas within the universe. Like, we speak something to reach nationwide. They just said moving loose its potential to actually go global. And that is the thesis of our unique design. This next group of three and four arguments is literally resumes the ability to engage in the first place, which is the question of way the comparative analysis here is that do you think that the ability to engage in these marketplace ideas is more important in the first place? And the answer is yes, because these sorts of abilities for us to deliver a radical thought preconceive their notion of an adherence to dominant viewpoints in the first place, which is the reason why it is probably more important for us to be able to engage in the first place. Now, finally, group there five and six arguments is literally the thesis of the affirmative explains why these disciplinary tactics are necessarily true. Call for the Elmer evidence and answer back these two arguments. It gives an exam, empirical example of how WTO, adult WTO approaches in the first place were literally cordoned off the disciplinary apparatus, i.e. the law, sort of used to sort of use to sort of uh, disempower the radical movement by cordoning it off away from the areas where it really mattered. And the way that we can contextualize the cross is a pretty fantastic example of the free speech zones so the question of you confining dissent and cross, which means that the case cards are not particularly responsive. Now let's go to the first current plan. Permutation do both. There's two warrants or a sub one is the first amendment in the university college did not protect speech that creates hostile environments in violation of title uh, uh, title six of McClellan 15. Supreme Court case permits school to restrict speech on the major class to incur the opportunity of others to obtain education in secret, Devoin, and Keely versus James when the harassment to level is severe, the qualifying title seven minor issues that by definition of the access to educational programs in schools are just fine in the second floor, and the net by first implementation that the hate speech code of the counter plan can be formulated consistent with the first amendment, all your offense can be solved by the implementation of sexist ten. Speech codes can be used to result in Supreme Court jurisprudence efficiency and conform to the policy of the Federal Court. Retaining the black speech and you know the most important section is anxious about punishment, intimidating message, not interfering with free speech, and further threatening symbols, and giving punishment, suspension, and enrollment, and withdrawal. Now, let's go to the dissonance first. Multiple, uh, multiple arguments here. One is that multiple Supreme Court cases have held the Constitution out of the Title IX restrictions on education that the affirmative does not promote or protect that type of speech. That's a pretty damning no other argument. Title, uh, Title IX Info 16. Supreme Court choice board versus adverse ability to call complaints sexual discrimination when she was not be hard after pregnancy leave the US Supreme Court upheld the title that regulation not prohibited sex discrimination, gross safety college all time not prohibited sex discrimination, and uh education program should be the receipt federal funds in this case, you should prefer to the title. The street financial was only part of the culture by time on the US Supreme Court and Board of Education, the US Supreme Court ruled that the school is liable under Channel Line for student harassment, president harass student access to education twelve churches and Supreme Court support for Title Line and past rulings established that it's constitutional additional order and cut the NCC. The Supreme Court's most influential rules when the exercise of the judicial review the court parties declare access on constitutionally enabled Supreme Court justice directs false making two issues and concern the public Congress to pass their equality like the legislative Supreme Court regarding interpretation of the interpretation of the Constitution in turn. Hate speech goes through the reasons all to the intellectual movements on campus, Bella Cosa uh, uh, 93. Schools went to the feds to some sort of draws of blood transfer from society fund to expect quick short-term fixes. Today, most people experience forced suicide, society will keep with natural disasters, and warriors seek a solution to fortunate big problems and teeth, which require time to reflect on people that are not emerging the street with the hate fixes. In turn, hate speech catalyzes action in the government power to regulate speech, always in a form of neg uh, negative offense, but go ahead and tank read 91. If anything, one might expect to use an infected air to see your social network to be judged on political leaders at some point, the government must be able to see the other truth is not prohibited. False speech results in empowering the government to not just for objecting other restrictions. Next on the final counterpoint, counterpoint is terrible. One is not used to see what the affirmative is the evidence text of the affirmative specific universities, but two also, these only competitive arguments the organ evidence literally has the reverse cause out of this question of diversion or word uh, and effects that literally affect other resources of the fermentation. It's not exactly true. Uh, the only evidence I didn't read, oh good, I didn't read your body. And I didn't read Baker. I'll send an update to Sean. Yes, I On the computer? Yeah. Okay. No, I
The one year overview is not sufficient to get peace solvency. I go to call the very high bar to uh, one year attention of uh, solvency. We have protests now. There's nothing that is specific that restricting them. We're actually protesting. You can see that new spillover means everyone gets to see these protests. There's no reason students are the uh, crucial internal link. There's no war for that. The overview you read explicitly just says students are the internal link. The, uh, but absolutely no war. Which means that as long as we have new spillover, that everyone can see that they're uh, uh, a point. Obviously, students would see that as well. B point. Everyone else would see. Means there's no reason uh, the students are key. Which means uh, uh, any risk of return uh, is. is to resolve the trial diary. If we were over the uh, second government, then resolve the trial diary. Yes, it's not competitive. It's a data trial plan. It's proof that there's no trial diary. Your trial diary is about nuclear conflict. We don't have the military in the world of the uh, negative fees. There's no nuclear conflict. You don't have a trial diary plan. It is simply a question of sort of uh, uh, like maybe general cultural militarism. But uh, uh, we will win terms, which means you lose the debate. The, uh, uh, the, first, uh, the first argument you make is these element price implications of legal restrictions uh, are bad arguments that uh, all of these have done it. Even if we were to those restrictions, none of the uh, will be useful. Uh, the first thing for evidence is that the dominant sort of narrative uh, within colleges will always win out that uh, whenever people come and say, oh, uh, the military is terrible, people say, but they're protecting us, but we love them, but they're heroes, and uh, automatically ignore everything we have to say, which means uh, you don't get access to any of your solvency. This is terminal defense to your movement offense, that they're simply not effective, absolutely no one cares. The uh, second anchor evidence says that, you're, that, that, that your protests kill radical action because uh, they're not effective, but even if they are, they're only linguistically effective. We uh, like, did not get the military. People have been protesting the Iraq war. Uh, since it started and it is yet and it's yet to uh, uh, end our argument is that all of these things uh, get those students to say, well, I protested, I did something, we uh, got it killed in sort of larger radical action, or even people uh, who take larger action, for example, trying to, to, to push for policy uh, would never do that because they believe they can just protest. The uh, next thing for evidence indicates that uh, there's sort of a socialization claim that uh, people are socialized against the method by which they said people see protests and they ban it. They're just organized. Look at Occupy. They didn't know what they're talking about. They're all dirty. They uh, have nothing to know what they they're all like college students. All of these things are reasons why people, they are evidence explicitly says they only care about the packaging of the message, not the actual message, which means protests and other things that are sort of apps are like different than these apps will always get ignored because uh, they're just seen as silly. The um, last thing you've read says that no major change come as a result. You say that this is the act of bigger than the Vietnam protest. At worst, that means you, uh, 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 sorry, you say the protests now are bigger than the Vietnam protest. At worst, the app, that means the app doesn't have to do anything because uh, you're already super uh, massive. Or uh, the other argument is, or, or uh, the other side of the double that uh, uh, anger is true, which point you'd be not going to do anything. We've got out of Vietnam for a litany of like, economic reasons that ignore all the protests. I think uh, you should default our uh, the second because you can see more of the anger evidence. It says uh, uh, that the marketplace doesn't, that these sort of uh, free speech or the way in which uh, 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 these sort of uh, melange of ideas works is that uh, uh, no one cares about major changes because it is only the government allowing a certain amount of, 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 of a certain amount of speech. The uh, uh, framing issue that should be uh, already extended here through, uh, through, the, uh, uh, through, the, through the two ARs is that even if it is true that that all the protests are super effective and everything is great. The, uh, the government is able to still control them through things uh, like sectioning them off, which isn't a restriction to free speech. The one is he cannot stop them from being uh, pushed into a corner. It can only uh, stop them from speech restriction, which means uh, uh, that the uh, which, which, which pretty much the legal grab is you don't get uh, any solvency. The uh, Elmer Cross application is that, oh, uh, the WTO is cornered off. That is exactly their argument. This doesn't take it out. The last argument is this presumes the ability to engage. That doesn't make any sense. Our argument is that when we engage, when we attempt to put our ideas out there, they're never effective, and instead of uh, leading to worse things. Counterplay. 
There's no net benefit of the counter plan. All the turns are all disactivated permutation. Also, the second net, uh, the counter plan proves that there's no uh, clear net benefit. The working evidence indicates that, uh, uh, that, that there's sort of a, uh, that, that there's a top down approach. You say, uh, uh, oh, but that cultural militarism, and your working evidence says uh, that cultural militarism comes from war itself, from physical actual war, which means uh, uh, there's no net benefit to the permutation. The uh, uh, first evidence you produce about Title VII, uh, our counter plan has nothing to do with that. I don't uh, uh, that way. The second evidence is saying gay speech codes can be uh, established later on, but that doesn't mean they will be. The military can also get up and uh, stop working in the military. Could uh, uh, hold itself, but you have to read specific evidence as to uh, how it will happen. Otherwise, uh, uh, this isn't just this doesn't justify a permutation or uh, anything else. The counter plan, uh, um, the, 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 the second evidence, the counter plan proves uh, uh, all of the arguments on the dis side are, are not true. All these are no ones because uh, uh, it is far, far more recent than all of uh, 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 your uh, all of the card, all these uh, court cases in your card study. Explicitly says that uh, in the last couple of years, as of 2008, uh, there, 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 there have been a ton of cases in which uh, free speech claims are levied uh, successfully against each other. Uh, not each Against the sexual harassment, which means uh, uh, that all the arguments that I was conscious of are just not true. The, this, uh, the first argument is that it's constitutionally protected. The uh, uh, consent decree from 1999 argument is posted that it says uh, it is no longer the case. The, uh, uh, the judge's dissent argument is just about what the court does. It is not uh, a question of uh, what Title IX is. Argument is that Title IX has been uh, uh, revoked from the sort of constitutional jurisprudence, which means uh, uh, you know, that's these bellicose evidence that says uh, uh, that it hurts and that it hurts movements on campus. One, that presumes you win uh, your movements good offense. Two, uh, uh, it's not a question of movements. It is uh, uh, it's not, it's not a question of sexual movements. It's a question of stopping people uh, from being sexually harassed. Your next argument is that hate speech causes what? Uh, like reform will know uh, being sexually harassed doesn't cause anyone to do anything. It just uh, uh, damages them. Our arguments uh, uh, in the government evidence indicates you must challenge sort of the uh, essential violence that happens in uh, our schools because it destroys anyone's ability to sort of learn accurately, but also destroys anyone's ability to have collective action. The uh, uh, best evidence is. The best evidence is a straight and seed. It indicates that sexual uh, harassment is caused by patriarchy, not militarism. means you don't get a, uh, a, an internal link argument. And uh, the, uh, the, the uh, chain of evidence indicates the diversity, the idea of sort of feminism in the context of militarism, the key to resolving any of the military, which means you guess that turns the case on a sort of militarist level. If you're not going for some uh, sort of grandstanding to AR, oh, we'll resolve militarism because uh, uh, the guess that proves that it is a requirement that we first address sexual harassment uh, before we can do anything else. Uh, that should be fine. All right, you, uh, so the order is going to go, yeah, hopefully not. Uh, the order is going to go case, counter plan, and then case. Counter plan? Uh, the first one. Uh, counter plan. Counter plan. Counter plan. Counter plan.
Uh, is everybody good? Oh, really? He's a massive average of great card work for that terminating nuclear conference coming within the next few years. The USC should charge its head on status. That's the SW. It's a massive counter movement. It's now on a rate bigger than the Vietnam purchase. That's a bossy evidence, but it's missing the vital link. Now, the awards behind why you're just especially key is pretty fantastic. The hardening of cursory evidence seems to indicate that the universe is the workplace of intellectual radical movements, which are key to stem the, which are uniquely key to stopping the spread of militarism because it promotes the space of radical thought. But universe start cracking down to destroying the counter movement and destroying global resistance. That's our element of evidence. The plan protects you to moving along to stop the military and extinction. Now, a couple of friendly governments that keep to be the first all is all. Only, all those arguments, the only argument you sent to determine is this useful liberal argument, but that's a question of why exactly it happens now. Are you unique to that? It is a storm to waste of the disciplinary and apparatus restricts free speech on campuses. I think like free speech is exactly what prevents things from, you know, from, uh, prevents things from like useful liberal from occurring. It's just a question of trapping people into complacency because when we confine space in the Senate to use this finite, can, uh, finite spaces like free speech on universities, it is more easily controllable, which is exactly how the disciplinary apparatus and the military hegemon tries to coerce political dissent, which means that it is unique. Is clearly flows our way because our argument is that good. The concession of the eighty seven stop the one to answer back almost every turn on the Chris. It is carded evidence, which means that you should prefer now. His next argument is the index, the Alabama evidence, which indicates that we only legitimate dominant viewpoints. The Alabama evidence is fantastic. On the question, it literally cites the questions like, yes, things like the law or things like laws that promote free speech zones are uniquely used to suppress dissent, which means that the failure to respond to the Alabama evidence literally proves our uniqueness true. It's just a question of the, it's just a question of the things like the military apparatus, the laws that pass the squash center now extend. Onto the universities, which is where we ground the thesis of the affirmative. And it's final argument that only the, the government only allows a certain amount of speech, which means that it is non free speech restrictions that bring militarism. And no, once again, the thesis of the app is very simple to the question of it is an extension of the military apparatus, which means that a risk of off of the union, the concession of the union sentence clearly answers back every single term, which means it's just a question of risk of app offense. Now, on the counter plan debate, there's a fundamental misinterpretation of the McClellan evidence. Literally, your, the point it doesn't matter if you're counter about Title IX or not, it's a question of the permutation of 100 century because Title VII. Specifically, does not protect uh, speech that creates a hostile environment. Speech that has a type of harassment and hate speech that is promoted within the DSO, that is framed within the DSO, that is not consciously protected in the world of the affirmative. The permutation is 100% true. It is a question of we can sort of live, we can sort of limit the harassment that is presented in the counterplay because Title VII sort of shields any sort of argument. Which is why the DSO does not end up becoming an important part of the debate just because he's only responsible for the following evidence. Literally, our counterplay is not about Title VII. That is not the argument. It's not called for the evidence after the riots. Question of if that type of speech and the hate speech is decided not constitutionally protected under the uh, under the under the world of the affirmative reasons why the permutation will hide the truth. There's no reason why we cannot ban some hate speech and acted by the counterpoint which shields every single argument of this that is only last week's box, literally every turn seemingly every turn seems to be box that decided the permutation. But that's not necessarily true because even if that's true, it's still a question of which is the best advocacy around the marginal net benefits of the decided policy and the risk of office of the affirmative should clearly bring about it's a question of do you want the best result military from and the decided and the answer to that is yes, then it's a vote from. Yeah. Uh, do the three judges mind if I record the RFDs? Uh, I do have to contribute to the flight, so I might like if the RFDs while I make the video.
Brian Moss, if you want. Uh, congratulations, Just on it, the was negative. So I think I can just get pretty simply. Um, I vote neg on the bars and risk of a few this guys. I think two that I think of most are the argument that protest trades off with actual policy engagement, and the argument that there's socialization this ad. So we say that we associate the protests with college students and say that they're delegitimized. The main move that the two error makes in response to this is to go for a tried ID discriminatory argument, right, which makes sense in normal cases, but I think you can see the advantage kind of the two error, which solves for 100% of the case, which is the only get tried ID. I also think that there's an argument that's not responded to here, which is that speech zones that you were talking about, even if you win, because I do think the Alvin card is pretty good on explaining why it is a problem. Uh, Evan makes this argument that's just like, that's not constitutional protected speech, which means it's not. So it was not super clear here, but his argument is just basically like, you don't solve speech zones. Because you wouldn't be able to prohibit that because you're having to deal with that. And whether or not it's actually constitutional speech, I'm not sure. But that goes into both ways. And his analysis is correct. It's not restricted to speech, it's restricted to location. And I do know that there is an exception that can be the person who a valid location of some sort. So I think that there's no offense with that. I think that there's no try to agree. There's I think you should learn a debate theory because he read an all accurate object fiat CP. So that's the big thing for you. <laughs> Uh, and it's impossible for you to win if you don't go for the link terms on the hate speech this ad. Uh, it, it's impossible for you to win if you can see the counter trend in 2AR and don't go for the link terms on the hate speech this ad. You have no offensive reason why any of these arguments are bad. I can literally never vote out. There's not a single solvency deficit to the counter plan ever. It seems abundantly clear that there's not going to be nuclear war if the nuclear weapons just go away. So uh, I just like. Without parsing through the flow, I just think that it is literally impossible to give an app RFD if you do not extend all of some arguments against what you said and conceive from open defense of the app. I agree with you on some places where I would vote on the resident case comments. Yeah, my decision is almost exactly the same as I think that uh, the 
if you're on this vote uh, on the VA, I think like any new VA that would fit because we manage kind of funds all the time. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you.